what our expertise is, is really making sure that these belt cleaners, which are really a critical component of being cleaner, safer, and more productive, um, are inspected properly and maintained properly. So I want to talk uh, a lot here about belt cleaner inspection and maintenance. On a primary blade, you want to look for what's called the wear line on the back of the blade. That wear line is an indicator, visual indicator, that that blade needs to be replaced. Uh, you want to replace that blade once the blade wears down to that wear line. As that blade wears down to that wear line, you should be observing that blade and watching it for it to keep a clean edge. When I say clean edge, I'm talking about this right here. That crisp, sharp, consistent line where the blade meets the belt should not have variations in it. If it's got any unevenness to it, any nicks, um, any uneven wear, that's an indication that something's not working properly and you should look at that a little bit different. If you look at the photo on the left, it, in, in my opinion, it's easier to identify the wear line when the unit's in service because the wear line will typically um, create a ledge where a little bit of dust will hang up on and it makes that wear line a little more visible. In this photo, the wear line's right here. And you can just kind of see that. It, it's not always real easy to see it. So you want to kind of look at these blades before you install them so your workers have some idea of where to be looking at for the wear line. Now, if you look at this photo on the right, this is a brand new blade just about ready to get out for shipment. And there's the wear line running along there. What manufacturers of these blades do is in the molds that they use to pour their urethane, that mold usually has a groove in it. When that urethane, which is at production, a liquid, when that liquid is poured into that typically aluminum uh, mold, that urethane fills in that groove that's in that mold, and that creates this ledge which is the wear line for the blade. So a little more on that here coming up, but that's where that line is. Um, some manufacturers, depending on who's you're using, but some manufacturers do not have a wear line. Um, there's a few out there that just don't put them in there. And on those, it's really important to understand when the performance of that blade sacrifices, uh, you need to watch those a little bit closer. But most um, reputable belt cleaner manufacturers do provide that. So if you're using any of the big guys out there, um, you're probably gonna have a wear line or a wear line on there. So here's some, um, some, some higher end, some of the big boys' blades here that you see on the left, um, just samples of the blades and you can see those wear liner, those wear lines um, into the groove of the belt. Um, I also want to point out this diagram on the right that kind of helps you understand why to let the blade wear all the way down to the wear line. Um, well-engineered belt cleaners and well-engineered blades are designed to make sure that you get full life out of the blade. And that's why they have this kind of unique curve to them that you see in those three profiles at the bottom. Typically, the more dramatic that curve is, the better that thing will wear over time. Most blades, when they're brand new, they'll clean pretty good. The key to successful belt cleaning is to make sure that that blade cleans pretty well, even as it's 75 or 80 or 90% worn. And that's what the curve of these blades do. The bigger the curve, the better the performance as it wears because that curve is what keeps that constant contact area and constant what we call scraping area that you see on the outside. So it's really important to recognize these wear lines and how the life of the blade 
relates to the design of the blade and where the wear line is. So I'm going to show you where this blade, each one of these blades should wear, considering this constant angle and this constant area. So the blade on the left over time is going to wear like that. The blade in the middle over time is going to wear like this. The blade on the right over time is going to wear like that. So you've got three different scenarios here. The scenario on the left compared to the scenario in the middle compared to the scenario on the right shows you how much urethane you're actually getting in that blade. The more urethane you have, the longer that blade's going to last. So you can clearly see in these three different examples the different amount of urethanes that you have, which is a direct relation to how long that blade's going to last. So let's talk a little bit about inspection of those blades and what those blades should look like. You've probably heard this before. If you've joined some of our other webinars, this is nothing new, but it's really important that you inspect the wear pattern on those primary blades. And you want to watch for any uneven wear in that urethane like you see in the diagram on the right. If that blade doesn't wear evenly, it's not going to perform and you're not going to get the full life of the blade that you intended to get. So you want to make sure that that blade is wearing evenly. If it wears like what you see in the diagram on the right, that's an indication that that blade has been specced incorrectly for the material path. The primary blades should be no wider than the material path. And that's what I'm trying to show you in the photograph on the bottom left of your screen. That blade is much wider than the material path. The material is what wears down that urethane and that's gonna create that unevenness or the wear pattern that you see in the diagram on the right. Okay, sec secondary cleaners, real quick, let's talk about inspection of those secondary cleaners. You wanna inspect for any excessive buildup on the leading edge of that secondary cleaners. Most secondary cleaners are designed to shed material as it builds up on the leading edge of that blade. And that's the, the two examples that you see in the photo on the left and the photo on the right. Those particular secondary cleaners are designed so material doesn't build up on them. So you wanna inspect that leading edge and make sure that that indeed is not happening. If material builds up on the leading edge of that secondary, uh, they tend to not perform as well. You wanna look for missing or worn blades and you also want to inspect to make sure the blades are coming into contact with the belt correctly.